just over a year ago on this video Bernadette gave me a ukulele and she said nice things and I got a lot of subscribers to my channel because of that video and made a lot of friends and it was a most amazing day. That same day that I was riding so high from the uh, words that she said and the ukulele she gave me, my neighbor two doors down passed away a younger man than I am, or was at the time, in perfect condition, former police officer, dropped dead. So that was an amazing turn of events, and it, it was just an incredible time. On the one hand, I felt so wonderful for my blessings that it seemed like I was on the top of the world. And then, on the other hand, this man who was uh, strong, friendly, nice, wonderful in every way, just died for, for no apparent reason, actually. Um, so that's what happened about a year ago. This has been an amazing year. Without a doubt, this is the fastest year I have ever spent, and one of my goals this year is to be, is to slow time down just a bit. So I'm going to tell you what has happened in the last year. First of all, I got to show you Bernadette's ukulele. Some of my new friends may not have seen it, and they will have to go back to that ukulele, that video. But I think most of my friends have been with me long enough to remember this. It's a beautiful ukulele. It's a wonderful, amazing, gorgeous ukulele. What a thing she did for me. And I thought that I was on the verge of ukulele stardom on YouTube. <laughs> well, maybe Bernadette was, but I wasn't just yet. February 26, 2019, we sold our house where we've been living 20 years. We're going to be moving to another state. And we had had such an ordeal getting away from that house that we left very weary and exhausted. Uh, it, over a period of years it took us, we had been fixing up the house, getting rid of things, doing this, doing that. The big deal. Soul House, February 26th. March the 4th, less than a week later, we bought another house in another state. We were going to be moving from Charleston, South Carolina, or Somerville, to Gadsden, Alabama. And we decided we wanted to go to Alabama because that was midway between South Carolina and Mississippi. Ginger could drive home to Mississippi where she has family in deteriorating states of health that she needs to visit frequently. She could go to Mississippi in four hours or so, and that is so much better than taking 12 hours from um, South Carolina. So it's actually about six hours, I think, to where her home is, or her home place is, but there are places in Mississippi she can get to in, say, three and a half hours or so. So, we decided on Gadsden because Gadsden, we found out, has the tail end of Lookout Mountain near it. 
And we visited this area. We really loved Lookout Mountain. We loved Nakalula Falls Park, which has hiking trails and a, a beautiful place. And so I wanted to be here for the hiking trails and the little mountain that we'd be moving to. And Ginger wanted to be here for those things, but also to be able to get home. So we bought a house March 4th and amazingly, some things in life turn out great, some things don't, but us selling our house at, for a high price per square foot and buying a better house for lower, very low dollar per square foot really added to our retirement account <laughs> in a nice way and really uh, boosted us on our way to Alabama. We moved into our house in, in Alabama on March the 28th and things have just been rosy ever since compared to the way they were before in South Carolina. The house in South Carolina seemed to drag us down. This house has revealed no ugly surprises, <laughs> but only good ones. And so I've spent most of the time since March 28th building my music and building my body, which is what I came here for. I wanted to get strong physically and I wanted to become a better to become better musically and that's what I've done. Somewhere in the summer I remember complaining and starting to grumble about the little money that YouTube was paying me because I spend a lot of time making YouTube videos. So around July I said I'm only making so much dollars per hour and it wasn't very much I started complaining about it and I started thinking about other ways I could make some money lo and behold September the 18th people from Russia stole my ukulele channel I know they're from Russia because they have a Russian email address they stole 2,200 videos or more and over 3,600 subscribers and the work of three and a half years. And that was a big blow and uh, not quite completely cured of that yet. But what came from that are a lot of good things. One good thing was my old friends started searching me out and my best friends have found me. And I think that is really nice. And I have many friends who have been with me for three years, two and a half years, two years, very, very dear and nice friends. So that uh, I got my comeuppance. Don't start complaining about something or you may lose it. And then you will really have something to complain about. So since September the 18th, good things happened in that I realized the, uh, the value of the friendships I have and my uh, subscribers and fans and people who support me. And then another amazing thing started happening, actually a little bit before September the 18th. Ukulele companies started sending me ukuleles to review. And that was so nice because obviously I have to spend a lot of money buying ukuleles because people are interested in the new ukuleles in the videos that I do. They like to see new instruments. So companies started sending me ukuleles and then certain friends started sending me ukuleles, other musical instruments, and it, it, was, it just kind of got weird, <laughs> but nice. And I, I think that some of the friends were feeling sorry for me because uh, I lost my channel. Maybe that's it.
But um, whatever it is, I appreciate what they did, and I appreciate all the friends that I have on YouTube. So, November, I began climbing a rope, and then I began climbing trees. Now, that is not a quirky, ridiculous thing. This is something on the, in the same line as the popcorn diet. These are things that I do to uh, promote longevity. And in the case of the pop popcorn diet, it keeps my weight down, which I think is very important. And as far as the rope climbing and tree climbing, that really has just about cured any back problems that I had. And these back problems go back many, many years. And especially the low back pains that I used to have are pretty much a thing of the past. So the, uh, the rope climbing and the uh, tree climbing, not some quirky little silly thing I do, but I think it is of extreme importance to uh, longevity and future health, which I plan to promote in myself as long as I can. And I think other people should be doing these things for themselves too. Lots of people seem to think that I have no control over these things. But you do, and I do, and that's why I do these things. I'm not trying to get views on YouTube when I'm climbing trees. I'm doing this for fun and mostly for health. But I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun too. So, well, I would be do I would be doing something, but it's nice to have things that you can do for health that you also enjoy doing. So, that is my year, 2019. I'm glad to see it go. <laughs> I've had some high, high ups and some low, low downs, as I'm sure everybody has in their year. But I'm wishing all of my friends, especially the ones who have, who have been sending me comments since Christmas saying nice things, I really appreciate that. You have boosted me up, and to think that people could even listen to my music uh, is amazing enough to me. And uh, if I can help someone, I like to do that too. And if we can be friends, that's all the better. So. Happy New Year. I am so ready for 2020. I just want it to slow down just a little bit and take twice as long to get through 2020 as it did 2019. Thanks for watching the video.